Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you some keyboard tricks on your iPhone or iPod Touch. So to begin, I'm just going to load up my notes. Right here, I have a brand new note, and I have my keyboard in front of me. Now, let's say I was typing a word like pinata. Now, of course, it will suggest autocorrecting that so that the N has a tilde. However, if I don't have autocorrect on, that wouldn't have happened and it would look weird. Now, an easy way around that is to hold down N and you will pre be presented with more options, such as an N with a grave accent and an N with a tilde. If I release, will appear where my cursor was. Now this works for multiple keys. It works with E, T, Y, U, I, O, A, S, D, L, Z, C, and N. Just like that. And all of those has at least one other way to make them appear on your screen. Some of them will have grave accents, some of them will have tildes like you saw, some of them will have, um, like the C, this little squiggly line under it, right there. And all you have to do to reach those is just press 1, hold it down, do not release, pick the one you like, and then release. And it will appear on your screen. Now, this doesn't only work for letters. If we go into our numbers palette, this will also work for the dollar sign. It will work for the quotes, for the question mark, for the exclamation mark, and lastly, right here, for the apostrophe. Now let's open up Safari. So here we have a basic web page, google.com, and if I want to change this web page, I could easily just type in example.net, just say, but as you could see, if it was a .com address, it would be much easier because I have this little .com button right here. Now, you may think that they only provide you with that button, but they do provide you with .net, .edu, etc. So first, I'm just going to put in example, example and then I'm going to hold down the .com and I get more options just as before. I have .es, .co.uk, .net, .org, .com, and .edu. Now all I have to do is just put my finger over one of these. I'll go to .net, release, and then hit go. And then my webpage will come up. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe.